Cause I got you sprung off in the springtime Fuck all your free time You don't need no me time that What's up YouTube, it's Mike Lee and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be doing like an updated q and A. I I haven't done a QA and a since like November. So I thought I was going to be doing like Q&As every month. That wasn't the case. <laughs> I recently posted on Instagram that I'm going to be doing like a Q&A, whatever. So I asked people to ask me questions. So yeah, let's get into the video. First question is... You know the vibes we out here? I'm kind of out. Alright, somebody asked, how was the college life? Honestly, right now, obviously, we're in quarantine. But, obviously, from August until March, because our semester got cut short. College has been great, honestly. Like, college has been nothing but, like, good vibe. Well, obviously, like, there's highs and lows. But college, like, exceeded my expectations. I don't know if it's just my school or college in general, but, like, I love my school so much. I just love being, like, in college. Like, I just love being away. I love dorming. I just love the freedom I have. I like the flexibility that I have with my own schedule. The only thing that's like od is like obviously the work but that's what college is you know it's not gonna be a college update video so i'm not gonna do that if you're thinking about going to college and not if you're a senior or whatever like go to college like get the experience it's just something that you just don't want to miss out on next question damn you're asking mad college questions <laughs> somebody asks what do you want to do after college honestly i want to do a lot all right i don't want to just have like one source of income i definitely still want to do youtube of course i hope my channel will grow by the time that i graduate from college something else i really want to do i I need to travel the world and I don't want to like wait till after college to do it. like I'm already starting to travel now I need to go everywhere I want to go to every country like every continent I just want to go every everywhere traveling is like my number one goal career wise I'm not exactly sure like what exactly I want to do I just know that I want to be like something with business related I'm a business major like I don't really see myself working for anybody so like I think I want to be an entrepreneur I just don't know what I want to do yet and if I'm not like an entrepreneur I just want to be like the CEO of a company or something I have to start to get internships and see like what i like and what i don't like career wise i'm not sure i really don't even know yet we're gonna figure it out though yo yeah in these college questions how did you know that ua was the right college for you honestly i came to ua when i was a sophomore in high school i like fell in love with this campus i was like yo like it's dumb lit here the first time i ever been on this campus like was when i was a sophomore and i remember like being in the cc and i was seeing like so many people like just like eating talking laughing and everybody was like dressed up and i'm like damn it's a monday everybody dressed up with heels makeup done hair done like you know on a typical mondays so i just really like the environment i visited mad schools and every college that i went to i knew if i wanted to go there or not like for example i thought that i would be interested in binghamton suny binghamton i went there and i actually did not like the feel of the, the school you know the environment just the school itself like being on campus i didn't like it whereas i came to visit you albany and temple and i was like oh i really like it here now what made me choose you albany was i don't know like i really like this been my number one choice since i was up since I came here when I was a sophomore, it's been my number one choice. Just recently, like when I was like a senior in um high school, like I would say like January-ish is when I was like, all right, like now I have other options. Until January 2019, U Albany was always like my only choice. And my only choice, my top choice, like I was like, I'm going there. Then when I started to like see like, oh, I want to go to this school, I want to go to that school, like I visited the schools and I just felt like U Albany was the best fit. And also like they gave me the best financial aid package. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to Albany. A lot of you guys asked me like little simple questions like yes or no questions somebody said have you ever skipped class not in college in college i've actually never skipped class now in high school and baby i was skipping class almost every day yeah i skipped class a lot in high school i don't skip class in college i feel like i'm paying to be here i'm not gonna be skipping class all right like i know a lot of people in college skip class and that's them just personally i pay for this you know like this is mad expensive and there's mad tests that we have to take you know like we have to take mad tests finals midterms and it's like i can't afford you missing class like i need to get all the knows i'll be trying to get a's on my classes all right i don't have time to be skipping class that's not what we're gonna do okay do i have any tattoos no i want tattoos but not i don't have any yet somebody asked what was my longest relationship i mean i don't really know only because like with every other relationship before angel i was always off and on with that person like so like my first relationship like my first real boyfriend i was with him for like two and a half years but it wasn't like consecutive you know it was like we broke up got back together same thing with my um ex before angel i would say like a year and a half almost two years but it was on and off so I feel like obviously the relationship 
that I'm in right now is going to be the longest relationship I'm gonna be in because I'm with him now and I'm gonna be with him. So what's my opinion on long distance relationships? Personally, I can't do that. Like personally, I need to like be with you. I need to like see you. I need to be in your presence. Long distance, like it's cute for a week. And then it's like, okay, I miss you, come here. For example, let's just say like, I met Angel when I was in the city, right? And we started going out when I was in the city and then I went to like Clark Atlanta and he went to U Albany. I cannot do that. I'm sorry, I can't do that. Especially going to two different schools in college, in college. Cause in high school, it was manageable. College, baby, I'm not like, can't do that. Do you believe in abortion? Honestly, I do. Nobody like should tell you like, oh, this is wrong, da 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 da. Like, you're the only person that should be able to tell yourself that. And people be like, oh, but you're killing a baby, da 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 da. Like, if I was ever raped, like, and I got pregnant, I'm getting an abortion. Like, you're not telling me I can't get an abortion because of what you believe. Bye. It saves a person from going through so much in the future that they can just prevent now. If somebody's not financially stable and they don't want to put a kid in the world and not be able to like actually take care of them, they don't have like the money for it or they're just not in the right like mindset to have a kid, it happened by accident. You know, I, it's so many things and I honestly do believe in abortion. Damn, I have mad lip gloss all over my chin. Have I ever smoked before? No Z. Now let me stop. Um, yes I have, but I do not smoke. It was like a, I'm gonna try this, whatever, you know, you get curious you know but i do not smoke like that is not for me somebody said when was the last time you cried april 1st i was crying obviously it was april fools and angel pranked me he's not posting on his channel or whatever he did it like for himself because we told each other that we would never like post like really bad pranks and it was a really bad prank am i currently happy i'm actually happier right now than i have been like in a long time probably like two years ago i was like so depressed life was just not it my whole entire junior year in high school like i hated everything I hated everybody i hated everything I Hated, I just hated the world like I didn't want to be bothered. I was really depressed. I never ate like I lost so much weight But I'm happy right now. I'm very happy right now. I like where I'm at in life I don't want to just stop here Like obviously like I want to continue to grow and continue to like be a better me Do you give second chances? Honestly, I do I'm very forgiving But I'll be feeling stupid after I forgive somebody like I feel like when I forgive somebody It's because like of how I felt about that person. So let's just say like somebody hurt me whatever, right? Chances are if you like apologize to me and you tell me like your feelings or whatever and we sit down and talk about it like i'm gonna forgive you regardless of like how bad you hurt me only because like i know how i once felt about you and that doesn't just go with relationships that goes with relationships friends family all of that like you know i'm very forgiving but like i'll never forget i wish i wasn't as forgiving as i am only because let's just say like something was to happen again then i blame myself i'd be like well like i could have prevented this you know like i should never let this happen i could have prevented so many things from happening and prevented myself from being in so many situations if i would have just never forgave a person what was the worst mistake I've ever made? I don't really have like something that's like huge. Like, do you have trust issues? <sighs> Do I? Yes and no. It really takes a lot for me to trust you. You know, like I do not trust anybody. Like I don't trust anybody like to like 100%. I feel like it just takes me a while to like trust people. You know, like you really have to like earn my trust. Like it takes so long to do that though. And once you break that trust, it's like, okay, I can never trust you again. Like I can forgive you, but I will never trust you again. I'm not sure if that's trust issues, but like if you break my trust, you're not getting that back. Like no matter how much you regain it, you can probably regain like some of it, but you will never like have my full trust ever again. What's a random fact about me? Like getting my nails done let's see if you guys oh it's not focused I love getting my nails done. Do I believe in ghosts? No, I don't. Somebody said this pineapple go on pizza. Yes, pineapple goes on pizza, okay? Like, I'm tired of this whole debate about pineapple is nasty on pizza. No, baby, it's it's great, okay? You need to try it, and if you try it and you don't like it, then I don't know what to tell you, because something's wrong with your taste buds. What are you currently worried about? I'm worried about my grades, okay? This whole online thing, I don't like it. And I still want to get an A in every class, so what would you name your kids when you get older? Honestly, I want my son named to be Mason. My daughter, y'all don't need to know all of that, because I have too many ideas for my daughter so what's something that will always be in fashion no matter how much time has passed for me personally something that will always be in fashion is like high-rise jeans handbags I was gonna say colored hair but I feel like once I get older I'm not gonna be wearing like different color hair all the time and I'll be 50 years old with pink hair what food is delicious but a pain to eat crab legs like yo crab legs is so good but like the struggle I gotta go through just to eat it crab legs is definitely one of my favorite kinds of food. I just hate how like hard it is to pull the meat out like whoa pause what was the last photo that I took I'll add it right here
Another question is, have I ever been bullied? Yes, I was bullied like OD in elementary school. Never after that. I never been bullied in middle school or high school. You know, that's like the past. I dare somebody to try to bully me today. What age do I want to have kids? I don't have like a set age. I just know that like I want to travel. I want to get married first. I want to have like a house. Not a house, but like I don't want to live with nobody else. Like I don't want to live with my mom. I don't want to live with my parents, my family. I don't want to live with nobody. Like I want to live by myself, me and my husband. That Me. She gonna live with me. <laughs> Trying to kiss me and change the things that I had makeup for me. Yeah. Okay, bye. Yeah, I wanna make sure like I'm good, I'm set, I've traveled enough to the point where like I'm like, all right, I'm gonna take a break, now I have a kid. I don't see myself having kids anytime soon. Like, it's gonna be years before I have kids. I wanna have kids like late, late 20s. Like, some people say that's old, but if you think about it, like I'm 19 right now. Like, how, when do you want me to have kids? 23? Like, I need to live my life first, and then I could, you know, bring somebody else into the world. Um, another question is, what are my plans for the summer? Honestly, I'm just gonna be working all summer. Like, I'm trying to work. Obviously, I'm gonna have fun. Like, like I'm gonna be getting lit, going to parties, amusement parks, going to the beach, going to the pool. I definitely want to travel this summer, which I'm going to do if this whole Corona thing clears up. I already know where I want to go, and like I already have everything planned. But I'm just like waiting for this whole like Corona thing to clear up so I can actually like book my ticket because I'm not trying to book anything and then I can't go because I literally did that for spring break. I was supposed to go to two places for spring break, not only Miami but somewhere else, but I couldn't go to the second place because everything was closed, so I had to cancel my trip. Another question is, what was my favorite hair color that I've done so far? far and what other colors do I plan to do honestly my favorite hair color that I've ever done was I don't know like I love every single hair color that I've done I love pink I love red I love blonde I love this silver my two favorites is either pink or red I love the pink hair like but I also love the red and hair colors that I want to do in the future I'm doing the whole entire rainbow okay you're gonna see me with mad different hair colors there's so many colors to do like I want to do every shade of every color I want to do ombre I want to do mix rainbow like I want to do so many different hair colors so it's like i will never like not have a hair color but just expect mad different hair colors from me like in the future somebody asked me what advice would i give to upcoming youtubers to be honest i'm an upcoming youtuber myself but something that i would say to like people that are just starting stay consistent because honestly if you're posting all the time then you have a better chance of like getting like recognition on your channel and getting more subscribers and views than if you post like once every four months because like you're not getting any content out but with that being said that doesn't mean just post any video that means like give good content you should really put like a lot of effort into your thumbnails and how you word your titles because thumbnails and titles is basically like what makes your video because when people see the title and the thumbnail that's what makes them click on it something else that i would say is don't give up like if you see that your channel is not growing if you see that your channel is not doing good right now that doesn't mean anything youtube has a weird algorithm like the way they generate is just so weird so like you could do the same exact video as somebody else you yeah, both have the same title the thumbnails are mad similar and like you will get 100 views and somebody else will get a thousand or a hundred thousand you know like just never give up because like I said the more content you put out the more chances you have to like getting recommended also nothing be creative but also like try to do stuff that's trendy so it's like you can do things that like other people do what's my favorite designer brand honestly my favorite designer brand is either Chanel or Louis Vuitton Louis Vuitton really got it the other designers a lot of people just like it because it's a designer you know because it's expensive like a lot of things don't even be looking cute like it's just Oh, it's expensive. So the reason why I say Louis Vuitton and Chanel is because like I honestly feel like Louis Vuitton and Chanel have like really pretty designs. Like the bags are really nice. They're really like cute. All right. Last question that I'm gonna answer is do you believe that money is the real source of happiness and what makes you happy? I feel like money should not be like your primary source of happiness. You should have like happiness within yourself. Like you shouldn't have to have money to be happy because money is that's something that's material. You know, like I feel like nothing physical should make you happy like you should be happy with like your internal self you should genuinely be happy because you're happy not because something makes you happy if that makes sense for me i'm happy because who i am and how i am as a person how i've grown and where i've come from and just everything that i do that i've accomplished my own goals and my own achievements and my success and stuff like that like money does make you happy temporarily once you're happy with yourself like you got it like you you reach a level where it's like nobody could say nothing to you know like if i'm happy i don't care what nobody says to me i don't care if i don't have money i don't care if i'm broke like i'm happy okay i'm gonna be happy and broke <laughs> like, so i'm pretty much gonna end the video right there but i hope i answered some of you guys questions like i definitely answered a lot of the instagram questions that you guys asked me make sure you like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video